Hey viewer, I heard you like Visual Assist X, and you want it in your Visual Studio so that you can Unreal Script highlight while you Unreal stuff. Yeah, let's do it. First thing you need to do is you need to install Visual Studio 2010. Oh, I already have it installed. Good. You probably do too. Next, you need to install Visual Assist X and do all the basic get it into Visual Studio. But you've already done that. If you haven't, go do it. Alright. Next thing you need to do is you need to download the Visual Studio 2010 project files and VX enabler. This basically has some template files and the dot registry file you need to enable Unreal Script highlighting. Alright, cool. Let's download that. Alright, it's downloaded. Now that we have it downloaded, let's open it up. I use 7-zip. If you use 1-zip, it'll look different. Alright, let's go to our UDK folder. Boom, here's our UDK folder. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to drag your, these development folders into your UDK development folder right in there. That's good. If it's there, it's good. Next thing you want to do is you want to drag over your un VAX Unreal Script Enabler. Go ahead and double click that. Windows is going to be like, whoa, do you have admin rights? You want, yes, you have admin rights. So yes, and when you get this box, you want to click yes. There's no errors. So this you hit OK. Then you can delete this file. Who needs it? We're done. All right, cool. Now, now that that's loaded, if you go ahead and open up the solution file, de development.slint, or the VCX project, you're going to get basically this, which is loading. Here it is. Alright, so you have a config folder and a source folder. And your source, source folder has all the Unreal Script files that you're used to. And if you open up, like, let's just say UT game, and we're going to pick uh, this one, sure. And uh, if we type in super dot, super dot, you're going to see that it has Unreal Script uh, autocomplete for all the things that this thing inherits. Very cool. Very cool, very cool. All right. So now that that's done, we're pretty much done if you just want Vax. But if you like Encodex, like a pro, because all pros use Encodex, and by I mean all pros, I mean me, because I'm not really sure how many other people use it, but it's still really, really cool. Let's go to Uncodex. Let's just Google it. And let's just go Unreal Script Swiss Army Knife. And let's see the load. And on the top of you want to see Uncodex. You want to get that. You want to scroll down. You want to download version 232. Once that's installed, you're going to get a box like this, unless if it's your first time installing, you're going to say, Hey, settings, first time, would you like to set them up? You want to hit yes. You'll get a box like this, and it's going to be blank. You want to hit add. Then you want to go to your UDK install. UDK, December 12th, development, source. Make sure you're in development source folder. You hit okay, you hit okay. Then you hit tree, rebuild and analyze. Stuff's going to happen. Now your own codex might look different. What I did was I, I hid my package tree. I enable the property inspector, I hid my log, which is right down there, and I organize that like this. So now when I click on an object, I see stuff in here, I see stuff in here. Good. If that's set up, good. You're done. Thank you for watching.